What's good people, it's your girl Justina and you're locked into Pi Radio's Weekly Rundown. First of all, it's looking like sad news for our fellow Londoners who are facing a possible tier 3 lockdown before Christmas. Officials have now started raising their concerns after recent findings have shown that infection ratings have actually gone up in two thirds of the capital's boroughs. Government officials have planned to meet on December the 16th where they'll review the current data and plan the next steps. In light of this, Mayor Sadiq Khan has actually said that putting London into tier three would be catastrophic. The Director of Public Health for England, Professor Kevin Fenton, has now advised the public to maintain social distancing and abide by self-isolation rules. While we're still on the topic of COVID, it's now been said that Prime Minister Boris Johnson could actually receive the COVID vaccine on live TV broadcast. A spokesman for the MP has said this after the growing public's distrust about the vaccine's composition and effectiveness. In a recent public poll, more than one in five people showed that they actually have safety reservations about the vaccine, which is an unusually high number compared to other vaccination polls. The public have been told to remember that there's no evidence that's come to light to suggest that the vaccine is unsafe. It's good news for all my fellow breakdancers out there because it's actually been announced that breakdancing will now be a sport in the 2024 Olympic Games. It's been announced as a new addition to the Olympic Games as well as sports such as skateboarding, sport climbing and surfing. The reason for this is actually because they're trying to attract a younger demographic to the iconic event. The competition is set to take place in a downtown venue in Paris alongside sports climbing and three on three basketball. It's been estimated that around 1 million people will take part in this event according to 2019's Olympic programme. Now the question is, which one of you breakdancers is going to be breakdancing in 2024? Now over to the world of boxing, the notorious Floyd Money Mayweather alongside his team, the Money Team, will be facing YouTuber Logan Paul in a notorious exhibition fight. Logan Paul may be a YouTuber, but he's no stranger to the art of boxing after he recently got into the ring with fellow YouTuber KSI in the summer of 2018. Now, he may have lost the first match with KSI, however, they had a rematch and they drew the second one, so who knows, maybe he has a chance with Mayweather. Not to be deterred, Logan Paul has decided to take the leap in the quality of his opponent and find Money Mayweather. The fight is set to take place in February of 2021 and it's the most anticipated fight since Mayweather and McGregor. Now, can you guys comment below who you have your money on because I know where all my money's going. Now, since it's winter, I know all the man them have that one budding question. What coat should I buy? Should I get myself a Montclair jacket or should I get myself a Stone Island jacket? Well, no need to fret people. Montclair has now officially bought Stone Island. So that should also answer your question of which one's better between the two, Montclair. The story of Stone Island and Montclair has always been one of fierce competition. However, the two designers now have decided to form a partnership and attack the American and Asian market. Over to the world of music and entertainment, rapper Kid Cudi has now announced that he'll be releasing his next album this Friday and it's been named Man on the Moon Part 3, The Chosen One. This album is his first album since his 2018 project with rapper Kanye West, Kid See Ghost. The album is set to have a lot of features from American artists such as Pop Smoke, Trippy Red, but also the UK's very own Skepta. Many media outlets have actually said this may be one of Skepta's biggest US collaborations, despite his previous collaborations with artists such as ASAP Rocky and Playboy Carti. In my opinion, praise the Lord goes crazy. Once again, I've been your girl Justina and you've been locked into the Pi Radio's weekly rundown. Join us again here for more news next week.